are obtained about the annual average price of wheat, rice and sugar in the wholesale market of a city. Find the general index number. Now here they are asking for the general index number. When we solve the first and the second they were asking about the only one single product and their changing of price for the remaining year. But here they have given the different product and their price of dif uh, in the uh, and the price change in the different year. For three items of the fixed base method with the base of year 2011 and by the chain base method. Now here they ask you the two method and here the year is given and the different product items. So this is how you have to solve for general index number very simple and easy table the same what is given in the question i just copy the year 2011 12 13 14 and 15 and i just kept the items which has to be solved now this is the general index number so we also going to sum up with the all three products they ask you for the fixed base matter to take the year 2011 as a base so here i kept the formula for the index number of fixed base that is current year price and the base year price now here i'll just declare the base year is 2011 so now for the first we'll write down the value of wheat in the 2011 that is 18 and the base year is obviously 18 multiply by 100 here we get the answer 100 same thing we'll do for the 2012 here the value of uh, wheat in 2012 is 18.50 and the base year again we'll take 18 of 2011 multiply by 100 here we get the answer 102.78 sorry for the very less space i kept Next is 2013. Year 2013's value is 18.90 and the base year is 18 into 100. Here we get 105. Moving to for the 2014 that is 19 divided by 18 into 100 and we'll continue for the remaining the information of the wheat same I'll do with the rice. Now here the rice value is 30 and the base year will also remain 30 into 100 here we got the answer 100 for the 2012 the value given in the question is 36 that is 36 will be for the value of current year 2012 and the base year that is 2011 the value is 30 into 100 here we get 126.0 7 and we'll continue for the remaining complete the information of rice moving to the next item that is sugar here the sugar value in 2011 is 30 and the base year is the same into 100 here i got 100 next year that is 2012 the value of sugar is 31 that is 31 divided by 30 into 100 here we get 103.33 we'll continue with the same for the 2013 it is 32 and the base year is 30 into 100 and we'll continue for the remaining after completing all the calculation of the all the items of the different year here we'll take the sum sum means take the total of the answer now 100 plus 100 plus 100 it is 300 same will total over here with the 102.78, 120.7 and 103.33. Here we get the total 326.11. Same over here 338.34, 345.56. This is all you have to go with your calculator. Now after getting the total of all the products, we'll make a sum. We'll divide with the item number of items. Now here we have the three items. The total will divide with the number of items. That is 300. And here we have the three products. So we'll divide by three. For getting the general index number as per fixed base method. And here we get the answer 100. Same thing 326.11 divided by the three items that is here we get 108 
पॉइंट सेवेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एट पॉइंट थर्टी फोर डिवाइड बाय थ्री आइटम्स यह वी गेट हंड्रेड एंड टू पॉइंट सेवेंटी एट सॉल्व फॉर द जनरल इंडेक्स नंबर बाय फिक्स बेस मैथड द सेम इंफॉर्मेशन विल सॉल्व फॉर द चेन बेस मैथड नव हेयर आई हैव आई एम रेडी विद द टेबल नाव आई जस्ट कंटिन्यू विद द वीट नव हेयर वीट इज गिवन एटीन and as per the chain based method i have to take the previous year price in the question it is not given the previous year so we'll continue with the 18 for the 2011 multiply by 100 obviously the answer will be 100 for 2012 the information is 18.50 for the price of a wheat will be divided with the previous year that is 2011 that is 18 multiply by 100 here we get 100 Two point seventy eight. Sorry for the space. Uh, moving to the two thousand thirteen. Here the value of two thousand thirteen of wheat is given eighteen point ninety, and the previous year is two thousand twelve. That is eighteen point fifty multiplied by hundred. Here we get hundred and two point sixteen. And continue for the same. Here I complete the. Calculation of wheat. Moving to the next for the rice index number. Now here I will take the pre, uh, current year value is thirty. Divide by with the previous year. Here we don't have, so we'll continue with the thirty only. Here we get the answer hundred. Moving to the next for the two thousand twelve. We'll take the value of two thousand twelve of rice is thirty six. Divide by the previous year value that is thirty. Into hundred, same thing will continue over here. For the value of two thousand thirteen is thirty eight. Divide with the previous year thirty six. Multiply by hundred. Over here with the two thousand fourteen, it is thirty eight. Divide with the previous year value that is thirty eight into hundred. Next thirty nine upon thirty eight. That is the previous year value. Multiply by hundred. The last item remain is sugar. Here the value of in two thousand eleven that is thirty. Previous year again will continue with the same. Next for the two thousand twelve the value of sugar is thirty one and the previous year value is thirty into hundred. Current year value thirty two for the two thousand thirteen and the previous year that is two thousand twelve value is thirty one. And we'll just continue with the calculation after solving the sugar. I already sum up with the all the values which we have found in two thousand eleven till two thousand fifteen with all three items. Now at the end the same calculation how we did in the fixed base method. Here we just have to take the total and divide with the number of items which has been given in the question. That is three hundred divided by three. Here you will get hundred. For the next three hundred and twenty six point eleven divided by with the number of three items. Here we get hundred and eight point seventy. Continue with the same hundred three hundred and ten divide more ninety five divide by three. Here you will get hundred and three point sixty five. Next, something like this, hundred and two point twenty six, three hundred and eleven point fourteen divide by three, hundred and three point seventy one. This is how we'll solve the general index number. Moving to the next question. Question number four: The price of a five fuel-related items in the year two thousand twelve and fourteen are as follows. Calculate general index number for the five fuel items by taking the year two thousand twelve as the base year, and state the overall increase in the price of fuel items. Now here the fuel items is given, and the price of only two years has been given, and they told you to find out the general index number. Now, as per the information, just take the all the items which is given in the question, and here I made only two columns for the year two thousand twelve and fourteen, which is given as per the information. Now here it is given that two thousand twelve will remain as a base year, as you can see, taking the year two thousand twelve as a base year. So as per the given information, we'll take the electricity, the first item, that is three. And the, as the base year is the same, so I'll continue with the three and multiply by hundred. Here I got hundred. If I check for the two thousand fourteen, the two thousand fourteen value is of electricity is given three point five. So I just take the three point five, divide by three, multiply by hundred. 
three that is two thousand twelve base value. Here we get the answer one hundred and sixteen point sixty seven. Next item is guess that is three hundred and forty five. And the same will be continue as a base year for two thousand twelve. Multiply by 100, obviously we will get the answer 100. For 2014, we will take the value 370 and the base year, base year for the guest 370 will be 345 as per the price of 2012. That is 345 multiply by 100. Here we get 107.25. Next is the match box that is 1 divide by 1 multiply by 100 the value will remain 100 match box 1.50 in 2014 that is 1.5 divide by the base year that is 2012 into 100 here we get 150 for the kerosene 2012 price is 15 into 100 will remain 100 and 2014 value is 20 and the base is 2012 that is 20 divided by 15 into 100 here we get 133.33 for wood 2012 price is 12 the base year is again 2012, so it will remain 12. So here we get the answer 100. Uh, wood for 2014 price is 15 and the base is 2012. That is 15 divided by 12 into 100. Here we get 1 point, sorry, 125. So after solving for the 2012 and 2014, we will take the sum total of the Items that is 500 and over here it is 632.25 and to find out the general index number we will just take the total divide with the number of items that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here we get the answer 100 that is the value of all the items in 2012 was general index number is 100 as compared to the 2014 that is 632.25 divide with the 5 items here we get 126.5 so therefore 126.45 which was in the year 2014 price and compared to 2012 price is 100 it means that it is as it has been increased by 26.45 in the price of a fuel items. Percentage. That's it.